What's up everybody, I'm Finn McKenty. This is my second channel and this is your home for my Twitch highlights and my podcast. So if you like this and you wanna see more of that and you wanna join the live streams, there's a link to that in the description of this video. And with that out of the way, let's talk about uh, female fronted stuff while I'm, while I'm fired up. I have a spirit box video playing in the background while I talk about it, why not? Sorry, Courtney, I hope, uh, hope you don't hate me for this. So one of the questions that I get a lot is, hey, would you ever do a video about female fronted bands or something along those lines? And the answer is no. I know that people mean well when they ask for that because we have the same goal, which is, you know, I've talked about many times in lots of different videos, why it's bad for the metal scene to be a sausage fest. You don't want it to be like when you go see Deicide or something and you look out and it's like, you know, 99.9% .9 dudes with beards scowling out there. And, you know, why would any woman want to be there? And you wonder, like, this can't be healthy, right? Because remember, 50% of the planet is women. So number one, just from purely a marketing perspective, we should want more women at shows and listening to bands and stuff because if we care about this music, we want everybody to listen to it and we want everyone to feel welcome, right? Number two, I think it's just like... I don't know. I, I think it's better to have a scene like I value actual diversity and that means different people with different kinds of energy and backgrounds and stuff like that. And I think it's just like more fun to have a scene where it's not just dudes with beards, right? <laughs> um, so we should want more women to be part of the scene. We agree on that. But the reason why I don't want to make videos about female fronted bands is because I actually think that it is counter to that goal. And the reason why is because what it does is reduces the people in these bands, the women in these bands specifically to their gender and puts them off in their own little box, right? It's like, oh, we well, are not just a band, you're a female fronted band, right? I don't think that's the answer. I don't think that, um, you know, that's like separate but equal basically, right? Like it's it's literal segregation. To put the bands with women in them off in this little section away from everyone else, which is like sort of what we have implicitly said there is that normal is the bands with men in them and that bands with women in them are somehow like different and special and we have to like put them in their own little box away from all the regular bands, right? And so I actually think that um, thinking about it that way is actually detrimental to making women feel welcome in the scene and to being respectful because like you don't want a participation trophy. You don't want your own special category, right? You just want to be like a person in a band who just happens to be female, right? And the same thing goes for like any other sort of identity, like being, you know, trans or gay or, you know, black or whatever. Like, I think it's very strange that in the Oscars or whatever, um, there's like a best actress award, which I find very strange. Like what if there was like a best black actor award? You'd be like, I, so I'm not good enough to win the regular award. Like you had to make a special category for me and that's the only one I can win. Right. I think it's really strange. So that's kind of the same way that I feel about this idea of female fronted. There's sort of this other thing that happens, which is almost like the flip side of it, which is like they get put on a pedestal or like they're treated special, like, wow, that's so cool. Like you're a woman and you play in a band. It's very like patronizing, right? And I do think they mean well, I really do. There's people out there who sort of make a big deal out of the fact that they, you know, like bands with women in them. And again, I don't know, I can't speak for women because I'm not one, but I, I would be kind of like bummed out if I felt like somebody only listened to my music or like that part of the reason why they listen to music is like, oh, you want to listen to the band because I'm a girl? Like, thanks, but shouldn't you just want to listen to the music? Like, why does it matter what gender, uh, you know, the people in the band are? We, sh we shouldn't care. One thing I hear people say sometimes is that well, I don't care about the gender of the musicians in a band, but women have higher voices. So, you know, um, it actually does change the sound of the music. And again, that's not really true either. Anthony Green has a higher voice than most women do than like say Tatiana from Ginger or Tillian or like there's tons of people in the scene, tons of like male singers that have really high voices. And of course, on balance, most women tend to have higher voices than most men, but that's not even true across the board. My basic point here is 
that I don't think it's helpful to treat female musicians any differently than male musicians. Uh, I think it's actually counterproductive because uh, what this is, is an idea that is called essentialism. Essentialism is the belief that we are different uh, based on any sort of like innate characteristic that we are born with. For example, the idea that people of different races are somehow fundamentally different, right? We recognize that it's about race, I think. Not always, though, because there is some of that, too. But that's why we don't have a best black actor category, because everyone knows. So that's just weird. Like, why would you have a, an award for black people that's different from the award for everyone else? That's strange. We wouldn't do that. And yet you see these lists all the time of like, top 10 female fronted bands. And what people don't realize is that by treating women that way, um, and I, again, I do think they mean well, but what they don't realize is that by talking about female musicians that way, by defining them uh, according to their gender, what they have done is actually, again, continue to separate them from the rest of the scene, which is the real problem here, right? We want women to participate in the scene if they feel like it we want them to feel welcome and so to continue to essentially other them and put them in their own special little category um I, I think is unhelpful and i think it's a little bit condescending and infantilizes them a little bit to sort of act or believe that they need to be treated differently or um or or treated uh i don't know like they need to be protected or something like that i think is a little bit patronizing and infantilizes them a little bit one thing that I do think is also super weird about this idea of like female fronted or just when it comes to women and bands in general is that their appearance always seems to come up. For example, when uh, I played the new Avril Lavigne song a few months ago and everyone is saying like in the comments of the video are saying, oh, she looks great. She hasn't aged a day. Why do we always bring up women's appearance? Like they don't they don't say that about Mod son, you know? who's also in the video and he's like the same age as her. And then okay, go, oh, Mod Son looks great. He hasn't aged a day since he was 20. Why? Like it's, it's interesting that women's appearance is always sort of part of the conversation in a way that's not true of men. Again, I think people mean well, you know, they're comp they're paying her a compliment. Um, so I, I think that they mean well, when people talk about the idea of unconscious bias, this is what they're talking about. That the uh, sort of implicit thing that we are saying here is that women's appearance that we judge women for their appearance in a way that isn't true of men and i and i think that is true so even when we're paying them a compliment to bring their appearance into the conversation is weird what we're doing there is putting women in this other category where we treat them differently and we talk differently about them things like that that reveal some of this unconscious bias again i think people mean well but it's a little bit weird I'm never going to choose whether I would talk or not talk about an artist based on their gender, based on their sexuality, based on their skin color, based on anything else other than like what they choose to do with themselves and their music and their career. Differentiating between groups of people based on innate characteristics is othering and it's not helpful. It's putting them in its own separate category that's not helpful. So that's the reason why I'm never going to make videos about this. Again, I understand that people mean well. I'm not trying to like come at people, you know, for using the term female fronted or anything like that. My point is just that to define them based on having women in the band is essentially segregation. And I don't think that segregation is a good thing, you know, for the scene. I don't think it's a good thing for, for women. I don't think it's a good thing for anyone. Segregation is not equality. So by all means, like I completely support the um, desire to have women participate more in the scene and feel welcome. Like I am 110% on board with that. The part that I would challenge is that I don't think that relying on this idea of female fronted is the way to do it. So that's what I wanted to say. want to look at the chat here. If you compliment a woman's talent, you must follow it up by saying she's pretty. This is common internet etiquette. Exactly. Again, I know people mean well, but... You wouldn't say the same thing about a man, right? I mean, I do. I always talk about how beautiful Ollie Sykes and Andy Biersack are, but that's because I'm weird. I'd say, Ollie Sykes is incredibly talented. And also, have I talked about how devastatingly handsome he is lately? Because if not, let me do that for five minutes. Because the scene is so much of a sausage party, we objectify any woman that comes into the scene, whether we mean to or not. This is true. We talk about men's appearances too, but mostly just to shit on them. I don't think we do though. I mean, we talk about the way they dress or something like that. But again, that's a choice. 
Um, I, I don't really think that people talk about men's appearance nearly that much. I don't think it happens. To use an example of Courtney, you know, there was a picture of her going around that, you know, where people like discussing her weight. Were they having that same conversation about the other bands on that bill? I don't think so. You know, did we bring up the fact that the dude from this band gained or lost a few pounds? Not, no, we don't really. I mean, it does happen, but not in the same way. We don't scrutinize men's appearances the same way that we do women's appearances. <laughs> not to mention the fact that every dude who is criticizing her for that can't see past their fupa. There is that too. There is that. Treat everyone the same. Judge everybody based on their choices and their work. That's, that's what I'm advocating for. Band members gender shouldn't influence your opinion on an artist or band work and choices are paramount. Exactly. That is, that's how I feel about it. So for everyone who has asked me if I'm going to make a video about female fronted bands. Oh, by the way, the other thing is like the female fronted thing I think is odd because like, why do they, why does that have to be female fronted? A female drummer or bassist or guitarist isn't enough for you. Like they have to be the singer of the band. I always thought that part was kind of weird, but anyway, there it is. No hottest dudes in the scene video. Listen, I reserve the right to objectify men, all right? As a man, it is my right to objectify other men as much as I want in whatever way I want, okay? So will there be a hottest dudes in the scene video? There might be. There might be. <laughs> I would like to do it.